Howdy! Today I will be looking at an artist loft artist kit. But first we need to dust it because it's been sitting in a, a small space for quite a while. But anyway, let's get started. First, I will show you what the whole thing on the outside looks like, obviously. Now we are going to take the buckles and unbuckle them. And there's also a zipper. And also we need good lighting, so I will just open those blinds. Here's a bit of the inside, it's a bit disorganized. And here's a satisfying picture of my organized art kit. But we will start getting into the details now. I obviously first took everything out, but we will be looking at the brushes and pencils first. The brushes are rolled up in a cloth container. Do I call it container? I don't know. But it folds out like this and there are nine brushes and three painting knives that are plastic so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. And that's all for the brushes. Now for the pencils. It's quite a nice pencil case. There are rubber banded, grouped, whatever, pencils inside. There are also colored pencils, apparently. So we'll take a look at the colored pencils first. These are just normal colored pencils. They give all, like, basic colors. And that's the first group. The second group, I'm pretty sure, is charcoal. There's three different types. I haven't used charcoal before, surprisingly. But I'm guessing it is because it messed up my finger. And we have some basic sketching pencils of a few different sizes. They do come in larger numbers if you buy them separately, but I think this is enough. And finally, there are some special colored pencils for watercolor. I'm pretty sure they blend when you put water on them, and you could put watercolor over them to make the colors more vibrant. And that's all for this pencil case. Oh, and there's more. There's and there's two extra things. There's an eraser obviously, and then a pencil sharpener. Everything fits pretty nicely into the pencil case, so you don't have to worry about not stuffing everything in. And that's all for this part. The next part is the acrylics. There's really nothing to say about these. They're just basic acrylic paints. There's two sets, so you'll have two of each color. There are 10 colors, so you'll have 20 tubes of paint. And they do last pretty long. These can actually be used for quite a while. And that's all for the paints. The next are these colorful um, things. I don't know what to call them, but let's try to figure that out right now. So I figured these were watercolor paints because they come in the shape of watercolor paints and all watercolor paints pretty much look like that.
And the other one pretty sure is chalk because it has lots of pigmentation and is that a word? And I'm struggling with tape because I realized I didn't unpackage that yet. But here I will show you how this thing colored really quickly. And finally for the and finally for the papers and extra things. This is a watercolor pad for watercolor paintings. It labels everything so you know which is which. That goes with the watercolor palette and then the brushes. The next thing we have is a painting palette. That goes with the acrylic paints, obviously. And we also have two canvases. They're thin canvases and they're graft. These go with the acrylics as well. So you could put that with a palette. And finally, we have a bag that's labeled really nicely. And you could put your stuff in here if you want to carry it in smaller groups. That's pretty convenient. And there's also a guide to techniques for art. Oh yeah, and also we've got a stand that I cannot figure out how to set up because apparently there were instructions and I lost them or they're in the book of techniques. And oh yeah, here's the bag. So I would like to say some stuff about it because the inside is pretty well made as well. There are buckles and there's also a zipper so you probably will, nothing will drop out of it. There are elastic bands to keep stuff in place and then nets to keep your smaller items from falling out into the open. There's also a strap for you to make into a crossbody bag. And that's pretty much the bag. And here's another cool photo that I took after organizing it. And yeah, that's pretty much a tour of the most expensive artistic thing I have here. Which is probably not a lot compared to everyone else. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. I post new videos every Thursday and Friday, plus extra if I have time. I did not post yesterday because I, I don't have time. So if you want to see more videos like this, check out my channel. I hope you enjoyed it and come back for the next. Bye!